Throughout the entire time, starting with your first clinic visit, your healthcare team has been working to prepare you and your family for your return home from the hospital. I've looked at your chest x-ray and everything looks great. So we'll be able to get you home today without any problems. Now you've reached the day when it is time to return to the welcome and familiar comforts of home. You ready to go home? Sure, I'm ready to go home. All right, I'm just gonna go over all of your discharge instructions with you. It is so important you and your family ask any and all questions as they come up throughout the process. If you're not absolutely certain about home medications or doses, ask us to verify them. By this time, staff from social services will have arranged for home nursing or for a recuperative stay in a rehab facility, as well as physical therapy, oxygen, and other equipment your healthcare team deems necessary. Follow-up arrangements to see your surgeon will also be made for you. Your surgeon will communicate with all of your other physicians, including your primary care physician, to update them on your surgery and the course of your hospital treatment and stay. At home, you should continue to remain active. Walk five to six times a day. Use your incentive spirometer and flutter valve at least four or five times a day. Continue to gradually increase your activity over the next few weeks. It's common to be tired in the afternoon after having been up and active in the morning. You may find a nap or rest in the early afternoon to be helpful. Take your medications as instructed when you were sent home from the hospital. Okay. Confirm your follow-up appointment with your surgeon if you were not given a date and time when you were discharged. You were given a prescription for pain medication pills upon discharge. You'll want to have this filled right away. If you think you'll need a refill prior to an upcoming weekend or holiday, please call the contact number provided by your doctor. Once you're home, you shouldn't lift anything weighing more than 10 pounds until you've been seen by your surgeon and cleared to do so. Continue the stretching exercises you learned in the hospital. You may have drainage from your chest tube incisions. This is normal. Please call if this drainage continues and has an unpleasant odor. Clear fluid, however, is usually okay. You may have to do dressing changes while you are at home. And so I know you already washed your hands because yes. that's the first step. And so here's the gauze that you can use and we'll send you home with some as well as some tape. And the key thing when you put this on is just that you don't handle it with your fingers, um, the section that's gonna be on. So there's a couple ways you can do that. You can either take a piece of tape like this, stick it right on the gauze and then lift this up. And then the other way is for you to just take the ends, the two ends like this, and then put this clean part right on his wound site. Most likely, you'll have sutures at the side of these chest tubes that your surgeon will remove at your first post-operative visit. The big question is, how soon can I take a bath or shower? That's a good question. You can take a shower two days after your chest tube is taken out. We leave that dressing over the chest tube site for 48 hours, and then you're allowed to shower. Bathing, um, you cannot do until you're cleared by your surgeon. That'll be after your follow-up appointment because we wanna make sure that that skin glue over your incision is completely healed and that that chest tube site is completely sealed up as well. As you're going to heal here, um, you will maybe notice that you get some uh, sensations that go from your back all the way around to your chest. It can even include the breast area. You can mm -hmm. have a full thickness burning type of sensation, a numbness tingling type of sensation. That's not unusual. That is from the surgery you've had. Pain, burning, numbness, or tingling sensation in the upper back, shoulder, under the breast or in the abdomen are commonly reported. Don't be alarmed by that, that is normal. It will okay. improve as you get several weeks out from surgery, okay? okay? If you do not have a history of bleeding ulcers and can take an over-the-counter pain medication, at the direction of your doctor, you may find it helpful to add 600 milligrams of ibuprofen every eight hours to your pain medication regimen. Uh, how soon after surgery should you have a bowel movement? I haven't had one for a while. The anesthesia combined with the pain medicine can constipate a lot of people. So we want you to have a bowel movement about 48 hours after surgery. Take milk of magnesia, magnesium citrate, or a laxative of your choice, according to the package directions. Colace is an additional medicine that your doctor may suggest to reduce constipation. <coughs> Some patients have a frequent cough. <clears throat> get your attention real quick. If you experience this, you may find taking a cough suppressant will help. 
Of course, it's critical that you follow your doctor's instructions. Do you feel like you're ready to go back to work? Uh, I think so. You should call your doctor if pain not relieved by your medication, fever greater than 101, signs of wound infection, shortness of breath or painful breathing, worsening pain or swelling in the ankle or leg, continuous nausea and vomiting, coughing unrelieved by cough medicine or coughing of bright red blood, painful urination or foul smelling urine. Call 911 or go to your local emergency room if you have. Sudden sharp pain, shortness of breath and feeling like your heart is racing, continuous coughing of bright red blood, sudden numbness or weakness in your arms or legs, sudden severe headaches, fainting spells. If you have any questions or concerns after you return home, please contact your surgeon's office. Ask questions. Um, the more information you get beforehand, the better off you're gonna be. I appreciate uh, everything you've done for me. We hope that you found this video informative and that you now feel better prepared for your experience ahead. We hope you'll share this information with members of your family and friends as well, because they can benefit from this clarification of the processes involved in your procedure. It was all a new experience for me, but, but I, the best advice I give is to be positive and relax and let your doctor take care of you. On behalf of your healthcare team, we'd like to wish you a speedy and successful recovery.